Warning, this video is intended for persons 13 years and over. Though the video's subject matter is media often aimed at children, it is talked about from an adult perspective. Thus, it may contain language and themes unsuitable for younger audiences. Snitches, I'm the Animaniac, and today I'm taking a break from today's current cartoons to talk about an old show I've really come to love recently. Disney's House of Mouse. Created by Rob Gunaway and Tony Craig, it ran on ABC as part of the programming block Disney's One Saturday Morning from 2001 to 2003 for a total of 52 episodes over three seasons. It's about Mickey and his friends running a cartoon dinner theater in Toontown, entertaining the vast amount of characters from the Disney vault with cartoons while getting into hijinks during the show. I've had vague memories of this show. I don't think I've ever sat down to watch an episode in its entirety before doing so for this review. And that makes me mad because I would have loved this show as a kid. But enough of me feeling like I've been robbed of this in my childhood. Let's get to it. Each episode of House of Mouse is divided into two segments. The first one focuses on the operations of the club. Usually something will go wrong and they have to solve it before the show ends. Or Pete will come in to try and shut down the club for whatever selfish reason he's got. I guess he succeeded, considering how long the show lasted. Now because of the episodic nature of the show, everything has to be put back the way they were at the end of each episode. The status quo is a god mightier than Zeus. Don't get me wrong, they do find plausible ways to put everything back the way they were, but some of them were stupid and forced. Like rehiring Goofy because he ain't got nothing else to do for the club. These situations serve as a wraparound theme for the cartoons they showed to their guests. A lot of the shorts were produced for the short-lived predecessor to the House of Mouse, Mickey Mouse Works. They were consistently decent, sometimes dipping its toes into stupid territory, but there is that odd occasion where they can be really funny. The reasons why I didn't laugh as often was either because of something stupid, even by the show's own logic taking me out of the situation, or there were characters who got on my nerves a little too often and never got what they deserved, or the jokes themselves weren't as clever or hit as well as others did. As I mentioned before, this show features cameos from Disney's massive back catalogue of properties, but only from their mainline animated film and TV studios. The most recent this show has gone up to has to have been the year... 2000. I figured that because Cusco made an appearance. Knowledge of any Disney property after that probably won't help you understand the show's humour. And it's not just their movies, it's also their cartoons, their comics, and their company ventures. Basically anything related to what Disney have gotten themselves involved in at the time. Along with Disney's vast library of properties, the show makes references to pop culture at the time. Like Huey, Dewey, and Louie, who are the club band in this show, would occasionally perform as the Backstreet Boys, the Smashing Pumpkins, and even... Kid Rock. The show's animation embraces the styles of the 40s and 50s. The background colors in the featured cartoons are bright but faded so as to not overpower the solid colors the characters have. The colors of the club pop out a little more, but they don't distract from the characters. And their movement is fast and fluid almost reminding me of Animaniacs if they had stayed on model. And while they stick to the 40s and 50s aesthetic Disney cartoons used to have, there are appearances of technology that were new or common at the time, like fax machines and the Game Boy. Disney's House of Mouse was fun while it lasted. I imagine spotting the abundance of references would be a delight for any Disney buff. And it is funny, just not as clever as I thought it would be. Nonetheless, the House of Mouse was... A gay old time. Now ever since its cancellation, it continued in reruns on Toon Disney from 2002 till 2009. Sadly, there's no DVD release of the show in its entirety or any mention of it coming to Disney+. Plus. Honestly, I'd like to see what this show would be like if it were brought back. The idea of seeing all the characters Disney have made and acquired since then has me so curious about how they'll interact with each other. They can even show the new Mickey Mouse shorts they're producing nowadays. 
Guys, what were some of your memories of the House of Mouse? Comment below. If you guys want to stay updated on future videos and see some cool artwork, be sure to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, and DeviantArt. The links are in the description. And if you want to be the first to know when a new video will be up, ring that bell after you subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.